Yo guys, what is going on? Z here. In this video, I want to speak about an iPhone app that checks your battery condition. Now, this app is called Battery Life, and it basically checks the condition of the battery inside your iPhone. It basically, you run the app, and it tells you all the statistics, uh, the runtime, the cycles. Now, basically, what cycles is, is it tells you how many times you you put the phone through a charger and everything like that. Now, take into consideration that an iPhone or any battery, I guess any lithium ion battery, has around 300 to 500 cycles before it starts degrading, before you lose 20% strength of that battery. So now, instead of having the 100%, your battery, your battery will charge obviously to 100%, but you'll only have the 80%, it'll actually only store 80% of power in there and it, it'll read out as 100%. Now, if you aren't sure, how many cycles you have remaining on your phone, you can download an app called Battery Life, as I mentioned before. Now this app shows you a bunch of statistics on your phone's battery. It tells you how many cycles, it tells you uh, different standby times, uh, different things that you might want to know. So it is a, it is a free app. Uh, it is a very popular app in the App Store. So you might want to try it, download it, see how it works. And it's, let me, I'm going to give you guys a demonstration. I'm going to run through it and show you guys what this app actually does. Now, if you aren't sure if it's your battery that's actually degraded or you're not, or the apps are taking up a lot of battery time on your phone, then this actually would be another good reason to download this app and try it out. And this right away tells you how your, how the battery is performing in your, uh, in your phone. Now, if the wear level was high on your phone and you did need to replace the battery, then I do have a video showing you in my actual, my previous video that I did, I sh actually open up the iPhone and replace the battery. Now I don't recommend doing it, doing it yourself if you are the nervous type or if you are in shore. Um, I would recommend honestly taking into one of those small shops in the malls or somewhere where you know where they don't charge you a lot of money. Maybe even the a Apple store, I know they might charge you $100 though. I'm not really sure how much they will charge you, but it would be a good idea, better to lose out on a hundred bucks than on your whole iPhone, right? If you are confident and you want to try doing it yourself, then I will post a link of my previous video either up there or I will put, I will post in the description another video that actually I watched myself. It's a short video. The guy has it zoomed up pretty closely. You could always watch my video and the other guy's video or whichever one you prefer. Um, now that is basically it. So again, there is a risk of completely destroying your iPhone. So really, you really need to take that into consideration before you think of doing it yourself. Now I don't have a link in the description yet for which battery to actually buy. I am testing a bunch of batteries. Uh, I will have it posted. I actually just bought another battery because the battery that I bought now is pretty much the same as my degraded battery. I mean, it is a little bit better, but I still want to get that full performance. So you need to be careful which battery you buy too. Other than that, that will be it for this video. If you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.